So, before you can get started using AllWorks Reach, you need to get the application. Depending upon what mobile device you're using, whether it be the iPhone or the Android, you're either going to go to iTunes or you're going to go to uh, Google to get the appropriate app depending upon your device. In this demonstration, I'm using the iPhone, so my demonstration, of course, is going to focus on using that device. Moving forward, all works reach. Once you've downloaded the application, simply tap on that application like you would any other in your phone. And what you want to go to first is I want to show you the settings page. In order to get to the settings page, I click on this uh, icon in the upper left-hand corner. And this is going to show me all of the settings that I need to take a look at in order to get the Reach app registered with the phone system. You can see at the top on, under my status, it's showing me that I've got the device registered with a specific IP address. And then in the second line, it's telling me the network that I happen to be on. But let's dive into some of the details. Um, what you're going to want to look at is you're going to want to click on the My Server button. And in that, um, your IT pro is going to give you a specific address that you want to put in the IP address section. <clears throat> you're going to give your application um, a username. And then you're going to want to give it a four-digit password. Notice that in the middle of this screen, I can change my password anytime. And that may not be a bad idea just for good security practices. Next button here is our settings button. And in the settings button, there's a whole menu of items that you can go in and you can change these defaults. Personally, I think these defaults are fine. But for example, if you want to change the type of ringtone, you know, you can change that, play the sound you know, and get a distinct ring for your, um, your reach application. Notice that one of the buttons, one of the things I can do is I can actually take my app offline. That may be handy if you're in a meeting or maybe if you're on vacation, you're out of the country and you don't want anybody to reach you on the app. Now, if you select my handset, then what you're doing here is you're determining what takes priority? Should the inbound phone call go to your desk phone first? Or should it go to the app? Or do you want it to ring at both? This is the menu where you're going to manipulate or make that choice. I want to talk about the reach link for a moment. This is a really cool feature. What reach link allows you to do is can have a call stay connected if you have a bad cell phone signal. So let's say, for example, I'm getting into an elevator and I'm talking to somebody on the Reach app. I can tell that person, hey, you know, we may get a little bit of silence here because I don't have a good signal going in the elevator. You get in the elevator and what the, what the link uh, technology does for you is it keeps that call connected. When you get off the elevator, now you've got full audio, and all the time that you were in the elevator, the call didn't drop. Now, if you've got a problem using the app, then you can... What's really nice about this is this allows you to send an email right to the manufacturer, all works, and you can report a technical problem or a glitch that you're having with Reach.